our continental breeds of cattle, uh, specifically we've got here from a breed show, uh, Texas Market Steer Shows, we will have our Charlet, Kianina, Simmental, Limousine, and Mainanja. And those will be our specific breeds that fall into that continental breed category. Our continental cattle are known, uh, typically known as more of a terminal cross, uh, meaning is on average those breed groups of cattle will tend to be heavier muscled, larger framed, and heavier boned cattle that in the end will yield feeder steers uh, or our market steers that are higher yielding, so more red meat yield and they're higher performing when we put those cattle on feed. All right, we're going to do the sim we're going to do the Simmental breed today. Uh, talk about some of the breed characteristics that really make up our Simmental breed. Primary, we mostly have to be uh, purebred characteristics to be able to qualify and go into the Simmental classes. Normally, we'll see Simmentals with the longer, their larger head. They'll have a much larger ear, lower set on their in their head and we also today we, we've seen a lot of our simmentals that are going red or black but we also have a uh, lot of red red and white yellow and white black and white and we could be painted to some extent as long as the painting or the spotting is above the uh we'll see it sometimes above the underline a lot of our simmentals will have stocking legs and one of the main characteristics that we'll see a lot of times is their ball, blaze face, or street face. We have some red flags sometimes when we get into our Simmental, is those Simmentals that come in there to us or want to be Simmental, they're skunk tail, double muscle, or if they're showing 40% of their white above their underline. In the past few years, we have pretty much in our Simmental breed have, have been going more black and red we see less and less of our diluter type genes showing up today in our traditional uh, Simmental. So we have moved the, the diluter gene pattern over into the red flag system, uh, mainly because we, we feel that these cattle are not as typical as what we're seeing today. Plus, if you're seeing this diluter gene or diluter around the eyes and mouth, I think this is a major uh, disqualification uh, as far as, well, it's a major flag that goes up as long as uh, we have, have those type of cattle. Another characteristic that we're real concerned about is these Simmentals, they're monkey mouth. We think these are coming from another type of breed that uh, we don't have, so we we put this diluted color pattern over into this disc uh, discriminatory, discriminatory breed characteristics. Those would include your spots, your grays. But then we get into the absolutes, and you will not see brandles. Uh, Simmentals, you will not see Rome's in Simmental breed. As we get into the slideshow, we think we start off with this this deer right here. That is a pretty typical uh, that's showing a lot of the purebred Simmental characteristics from front to rear. As you notice, his muzzle is real long, his eyes is set, he's got a, a lower set to his ears, he comes back, and if you get back on his hip, uh, you can also see he's, he's a real flat muscle he's, he's real smooth in the and flat in his joint structure plus you can see that he, he's got some uh stockings under it. it's not too high uh but this this cat is what we think is a pretty typical simmental we get into this this cap here you might get in some issues with the amount of white that you have up on the front of his head but as you get back you look at his way his eyes his ears his pole is, you get back into his hip and the flat joints on, it, on the way his legs or his hocks are sick. We, we think that even though this cat probably shows a little more wide up on his face, we're still going to allow, allow this cat to go through his scimitar. Here we got a, a, a cat that really meets the, the what we call a typical color that we have in our scimitars, but he's got some major issues. Uh, we get up on, if you notice his head, how short his muzzle is, his, eye, his eyes is okay, but when you get up on those ears, they're kind of, kind of starting to creep up a little bit higher up on that pole. We get back and, and you look at his, his, his muscle structure, he's a little bit more rounded in his muscle structure. We think this calf will have a problem going through the fast line lines.
Here we got your typical diluter type gene that's throwing out this mud or this smoky type cap that uh, we, we have decided that we want to throw a flag up on him on this color, but when you get down and take a look at this deer, the way his muzzle's set, the way his eyes and ears are set for some time, he's real typical in, his, in that headset. He's also, as you notice, right there, right there at the withers, how this lightning strike or this belt is starting to come down. He's, uh, he's also got some motley coloring there in his legs. He's showing a lot of characteristics from, from that standpoint. We think that he will go ahead and, and uh, easily make the Simmental cut when we go through on this cat. We, again, we have another one of these calves that we really question his eyes, the diluter gene around his eyes and around the muzzle. We, we think that this is probably coming from another breed and we have some real major issues with this. But when we get back and take a look at the ear set, the way the pole is, you get back into the into his hip and his, his legs instead of the hawks. Uh, and he's also one of what we call these painted type of calves. I think uh, even though he does have a little bit of a problem with his uh, the eyes and the nose muzzle, we need to go ahead and let him go through. But there is a big question mark uh, on this calf. We would really like to get around on the other side and look at this calf more closely. But there's, there's some nice features, but there's also some features we don't like about this calf. Here we got another one of these calves that we have some questions about. Uh, you, you need to really get in front of this calf and take a look at that head. If you notice, he's a lot tighter jaw. He's not as typical headed uh, as you find. If you notice up there, he's got a star. He's not a blaze face or streak face. We've got some issues there with this calf. We get back and, and you look at the way this calf is made. He's okay from, from that standpoint back. But if we really get into the classifying line, this calf may not make it. Again, this is an example, if you look at the head on this calf, how, how better his ears and his eyes and his muzzle length is. Plus, he's got a, a streak or, or a small blaze face up there. Uh, he's got some white on him. Uh, this calf's going to walk through. Here we got a, a real typical colored pattern that, that we see a lot of times in our symptoms. But when, when we get past the color pattern, we look at the head, the head is totally wrong. The, the head is short muzzle. He is, uh, the ears are set too high. He's a uh, small jaw. He gets back, on, on, as you come back, he's starting to get a little bit more rounded in his hip structure. Uh, he's just a calf that, at first look, you probably let him go through, but after you really study this calf, he is a no. We get into this calf, again, we, we have a, a little bit of issue with the, the, the luter gene around his eyes, but when you get back, uh, everything else on this calf is correct as far as eyes. You probably could take that muzzle a little bit longer, but when you get back and look at the color pattern, he's got this belt or this lightning strike coming down his sides. Uh, he's colored up uh, the way we would like to see or what we feel like is a purebred Simbrol. Simitar. Here we have the uh, calf that probably needs to go into a different breed or will go into AOB simply because when you get into his head, it's all wrong as far as the length of the muzzle. The, the eye set is, is sitting up high. His ears are, are getting low, but they're, if you really get in front of this calf, I think we'll see that these ears are a little smaller than what you normally would see. And the color of this particular calf it, uh, raises a major question mark whether or not he uh, belong to some tall uh, class or not. Here we have a typical calf that we've seen get through in the past simply because he, do, he does have some color markings, but if you notice that him, look at the head, he's more, he's more muzzle, his muzzle is much shorter, smaller, his eyes, his ears are not correct. Uh, there's just, there's a lot of, a lot of things in this particular calf that will not get through uh, the Simmental line today. Same thing with this cat. We, we see this short muzzle. The ears are not as long as more correct pointing part, and they're pointing up and forward. Uh, he's got some paint, uh, some motley on his legs. We This is not a bad characteristic, but this is something that, that we kind of look at. But this particular cat, what gets him is his head. 
again, here is another calf that the head is totally wrong. Uh, he's he's a um, calf that I think that also something that is really off on this calf is his color. He's a dark red, uh, almost a, a, a color we don't see often in the scimitals, but one that we would definitely uh, mark him down just simply because of his head, his ears, his eyes.